This video will cover the basic concepts and kind of overview what the WinBid Pro version 15 software is all about. And uh, let's assume that you've already installed this program and you've done that from our website. It's created three icons on your desktop. And these three right here. The version 15 uh, icon is what launches the program. The import utility icon will actually allow you to import vendor catalogs from our old version 14 software, if that's uh, what you have already. And this VDCOM icon is there but not really needed. You can actually delete that if you'd like. And it's for a, so a program that actually converts the drawings made with our software into DWG files, which uh, are used by AutoCAD programs or CAD software. OK, so given that, Let's also look at where the files are put on your computer. Uh, after you've installed our software, you can go to your uh, Explorer, your Windows Explorer, or you can go over to your Start button and go to Computer. Either way, it gets you this type of thing where you can click on Computer, click on your C drive, and then you'll see the folders on your C drive. This WinBid Pro folder is ours. We click on that, and inside it are a bunch of files but also some vendor folders. If you've installed vendor catalogs which you can also do from our website, uh, that's the different manufacturers that sell the aluminum material and hardware for building the storefront and curtain wall systems and basically um, all the things that glazing contractors would use for uh, building these jobs. So these folders contain all the pricing, part numbers, uh, detailed drawings, systems that have been pre-configured for that manufacturer and all the things you need to use their products to create estimates. So keep that in mind. If you ever wanted to back up an entire vendor, which means all your jobs and everything uh, included with that vendor would also be backed up, just copy this folder uh, to a USB flash drive or an external hard drive, something like that. And that will back up the entire vendor and all your work. And if you wanted to back up our software, the entire program, you can actually just back up this WinBid Pro folder. Um, but you can always, if you have your vendors, you can always reinstall the program and restore your vendors and everything's back to normal. So keep that in mind. Now if we want to get into our software, we'll just double click on the V15 icon. It'll bring up this 30-day uh, trial window and it counts down from the first time you run the software. And this is available to anyone that downloads the program. They can run it. It'll give them 30 days of free use. There's no limit to the features or um, things you can do with the software. So you can use it as much as you want for 30 days. And then after that, if you decide to buy it, you click this Manage License button. You con contact us with payment. And we give you a code that you type in. And that will give you a one-year license to the program. So it's a subscription-based product. All right. Now that you know that, let's click the Run Trial button. That'll get us into the program. There is a login window where you can create your own username. Uh, you can click Edit Add to do that and add your name. And then the next time it'll have it when you log in. The reason we have that is because you can have multiple people using the same catalogs. So that means you can share jobs with other people in your company. Uh, a shop foreman can be looking at a job that an estimator did, and so on. So. Uh, you can do that when you get into the program at any time. And then we launch the program now, and this is where we see our list of vendors. And you can have as many vendors as you want. We have about 20 or so on our website, and we're always adding to that. We update those catalogs uh, as often as possible when the manufacturer sends us the new information. So that's something that's included with our product. So we select a vendor, and you have to select a vendor to get into our software. That's just a um, thing that it needs to do to, to have the information to work with. So after you've selected your vendor, you have a list of jobs that have been uh, input into that vendor. So it always starts with at least one job, this sample job, and then anything you create after that uh, will be added to that list. So let's go ahead and select the sample job. And there's a tips window the first time you use it, and any times after that you can keep reading through this just to remind yourself what needs to be looked at in the program. Once you're comfortable with it, you can check this box at the bottom and it won't show up anymore. So after that, we get into the actual program. And this is the drawing. This is the main screen. And there's a drawing on the window. There always has to be a drawing in this little drawing window to be able to 
correctly use and properly use this program. So all these menu features, all these little tools for the drawing, all these tabs along the bottom, which allow us to add things to the drawing, these are all activated when there's a drawing on the screen. And if there's no drawing, none of these things are going to work correctly. So that's why there's a sample job and a, uh, a sample vendor and all that. Um, but keep that in mind. And then uh, the way it works is there's uh, all these menus allow you to access the different parts of the catalog. So we've selected that one catalog. What that means is we have all their parts in a parts list. And we can edit, change, delete, add to, do anything we need to do with this parts list. It's but it, it does have the manufacturer's information, their part number, description, uh, a multiplier, which you can actually go and change. And there's a separate video on that type of process. Um, you can, like I say, change the pricing and anything like that. Now, these part numbers are used in what are called framing systems. So the framing systems are actually the names of the products that the manufacturer sells. And a product is basically a group of parts that makes up a system to make a frame for an opening and uh, you can edit that and all the part numbers and settings are in that uh, screen so there's separate videos that cover that as well and before you can create a job and add elevations to it um, you create the job actually by naming it but before you can create elevations you have to pick a framing system so that's how our software knows what part numbers it's dealing with and what profiles to draw the frame pieces uh, with so it knows all that just from the framing system. Same thing goes with the door frames and door leaves. All that stuff is pre-configured, but you can go in and change it at any time. Uh, the part numbers that show up on your reports all come from those uh, default lists. And like I say, you can go in and change any of that at any time. So that's one of the, the main powers, I guess, features of our program is that you can actually change anything and add to it and kind of dial it in and tweak it to the to the way your company needs it to be and uh, aside from that you have a choice of a, a, a dozen or more different catalogs that you can pick from too and use so the uh, the rest of the program is all based on all the drawings that you do but uh, you optimize a job and what that means is it takes all the cut pieces it figures out the optimum yield of material for the stock lengths and then it shows you how to cut those stock lengths so that's all very critical for coming out with the right price and also for the production of the of the job which allows you to, to prepare it for going out to the field to install it so you're cutting everything to the right length and then you take it out and install it in the field uh, it can calculate labor it figures your glass prices uh, all your list of materials that are needed because of all the part numbers that were used for the framing systems all that stuff is available you can print your drawings to scale uh, you can generate shop drawings that have details and and that's uh, one other thing is the markup report you can create a markup report that has your bottom line price which includes all your markup profit and your tax and any kind of surcharges outside costs all those things can be included in your final estimate through the markup report so uh, you can export things to PDF and Excel as I mentioned it creates DWG files so all those things are part of the the things that our software does so uh, keep that in mind when you're when you're researching but uh, there's different videos for all the different parts of our program so you're going to want to decide what you need to learn a little more about and then watch those specific videos and that will help you out that's about it